Hello, everybody. This is Bert Dixon. Uh, today, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on using the box method for polynomial division. Uh, there are several different techniques for polynomial division, so the box method is just one of those. Uh, this box method should make a lot of sense if you have ever multiplied um, polynomials like x plus 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 6, for example. If you've multiplied polynomials using a box method, it looks like this. Um, I could put x and 2 here, and x squared, 3x, and negative 6 across the top. Uh, and then when I multiply in the rows and columns, here I'd get x cubed, 3x squared, minus 6x, 2x squared, 6x, and negative 12. And so then our answer is going to be x cubed. And then the like terms always show up diagonally like this. So that is plus 5x squared. These add up to 0 and then minus 12. And so that would be our answer um, if we were doing polynomial multiplication using the box method. So division is going to be uh, like that, but in reverse. We're going to put the 2x plus 3 here. Um, we're going to divide that in, and we put what we want our answer to be down at the bottom. So when we do, if we think of it as a multiplication problem, we want 2x plus 3 times something, which goes up here. Uh, we want that to equal 8x to the fourth plus 28x cubed plus 22x squared minus 21x minus 27. And so we know that just like in the, in the multiplication problem that we did, our first term was right here. That matched that. And so we see here we want to have an 8x to the fourth to match this. Okay, so what do we put up on the top? If we want that to be 8x to the fourth, then I better multiply by 4x cubed so that when I multiply this times this, I get this answer. And if that's a 4x to the third at the top, then this box down here would have to be then 12x cubed because 3 times 4x cubed is 12x cubed. Okay? And then the next step goes like this. Re refer back to, again to my multiplication problem. Remember how we said like terms show up on the diagonal? And those two things added up to 5x squared. Well, now we want these two boxes to add up to 28x cubed. So that means this uh, missing box or the empty box would have to be 16x cubed so that those two add up to 28x cubed. Now to get a 16x cubed here, I need this to be an 8x squared so that 2x times 8x squared gives me 16x cubed. And then 3 times 8x cubed gives me 24x squared. And then we repeat that process. I want these two boxes to add up to this. So that means this uh, empty box up here needs to be negative, um, negative 2x squared. So that 24x squared and negative 2x squared adds up to 22x squared. And so to make that happen, this would have to be a negative x at the top. So that gives me negative 2x squared where I want it. And this would be negative 3x. And then we repeat the process again. These two boxes need to add up to 21x, negative 21x. So this better be negative 18x. And that makes this one at the top negative 9. And that makes this negative 27, and that matches that, so we have no remainder. So that uh, divided in evenly. So now we can say that, um, that 8x to the fourth plus 28x cubed plus 22x squared minus 21x minus 27 divided by 2x plus 3, the answer is right up here at the top. That is 4x cubed plus 8x squared minus x minus 9. 
So I was able to do that uh, by uh, the fact that division is just the opposite of multiplication. So we treated it like a multiplication problem where we didn't know one of the um, polynomials that we we're multiplying by, but we knew the answer that we wanted to get in the end. And so this is our quotient. Okay, I'll show you one more example, and then I'll let you try one. Okay, uh, so this time we want to get this answer when we do the multiplication. So 3x cubed plus 7x squared minus 7x minus 3. And uh, here we'll put x minus 1 and across the top. Um, let's see, we have our first term goes here, 3x cubed. To make that happen on the top, I'm going to need 3x squared. And x times 3x squared gives me 3x cubed. Negative 1 times 3x squared gives me negative 3x squared. And then we want these two boxes to add up to 7x squared. So this would have to be uh, 10x squared. So this has to be 10x. And... This would be negative 10x. And then we want these two boxes to add up to negative 7x. So this is going to be a positive 3x, which means this has to be 3. And uh, this is going to be negative 3. And again, it went in evenly because the negative 3 matches what we have at the end. So our answer is right up here at the top. It is 3x squared plus 10x plus 3. Okay, uh, now I'd like you to uh, copy this one down. And go ahead and give it a try. Uh, pause your video. Try this one on your own. And then when you think you're done, go ahead and... Uh, press play to check your answer. Okay, so in this one, we want to um, get this answer. And in the side, we're going to put 2x plus 3. And so in order to get a negative 6x cubed as our first term, this is going to have to be a positive 3x squared. And then that's going to give us 9x squared here. And then these two have to add up to 9x squared. So that means this one's going to be a 0. And so here we put 0 and 0. And then um, these have to add up to... 16x, so we put 16x there. And then this is going to be negative 8. And so then that is 16x minus 24. And uh, we want these to add up to negative 25. So this is going to have to be a negative 1. And that is our remainder. Notice that there's an extra column on there compared to the previous examples we did. And so our final answer then is 3x squared minus 8. And we have a remainder of negative 1, so I can say plus negative 1 over negative 2x plus 3. So there's our final answer. Okay, have a great day, everybody. Good luck.